Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to uh, modify the preferences in your Sublime Text 2. So one of the things you might have done is open up Sublime Text, click on the name here, and see that under Preferences, we have all these different things. More than just settings, there's uh, color schemes or whatever. If you have TextMate, your color schemes from TextMate are going to show up here. Um, you won't see package settings. Uh, I have that because I have something called package control install. We'll show you more about that once I give you the video on package control. But uh, let's go into settings default. So you notice we have this file here, and this format might look familiar with uh, might look familiar to you as a, ob a JavaScript object, a JSON file, and. Really what this is, is every single type of preference there is in Sublime Text that you could modify uh, from your color scheme to the uh, default size of your font. Uh, so it starts off as 10 with the font face. Uh, you can change what font it uses. However, you know, you want to use a, a monospace font. Um, you could change the margin here, uh, gutter. You can change all sorts of stuff. Uh, you can turn on spell checking by default. And what you could do is you could come in here if you wanted, let's say, to have, um, let's let's find something that's going to be obvious. So if we come down here, this preview on click says true. What happens if we set this to false? And what this is, is in the last lesson, when you clicked on a file here, uh, it popped up in your view window. Notice how I've already saved this JSON file. I'll click on any of these and it's not updating our window. If I go in here and change this to true, save it again, click on one of these, now it's changing the window here. So that's really great. It's nice and easy, but you may have noticed if an update was released to Sublime Text, all of your preferences that you would have set would have already been changed. And that might be, you know, you wouldn't know why. Well, because this is Sublime's preferences. This is the preferences for the application. And if you were to read the paragraph at the very top, it would say to put your preferences in the user preferences file. This That file is not going to get overwritten once uh, Sublime Text updates. So what you're gonna go ahead and do is copy this. I'm gonna change this preview and click. And then I'm gonna go to preferences and then settings user. And you'll notice the only thing in here is font size 23. We're gonna put a comma after that. And then we're gonna paste in preview on click true. And I'm gonna set this to false. Anything that you have in this file, oh, I had extra comma. Anything that you have in this file is going to overwrite Sublime settings. So okay, I saved this. Now let's click here. And you can see this preview on click is not working. Change it back to true, save it. All right, now it's working again. Okay, so this is how you modify preferences in Sublime Text 2. And if you want, you're gonna wanna grab this, uh, this uh, commented out code here, because what this is going to do is later when you need to edit this stuff again, it's gonna help you remember exactly what you have here. So this is where you modify your preferences. There is no user interface for it like you might be used to. However, uh, it's really not a bad system and you can get anything uh, you want changed. I would just paw through this uh, Sublime Text settings file and see everything that you can do different because you might not even know of some of the options that you have until you look through here. Okay, well that does it for modifying preferences in Sublime Text 2. Let me know if you have any problems with that or if you have any questions. You can always hit us up at Twitter, Level Up Tuts, or uh, my, my Twitter is at S. Tolinsky. Or we now have Facebook, as you can see, on our, our Level Up Tuts YouTube page. Also, a uh, quick notice, I like to give these just short speeches at some point in the new series. Uh, all these videos are made on our own free time. Uh, I get home from work and I, I, try, I try to get these tutorials out because I know that people want to see these. Um, so... If you're learning some things for uh, something from these tutorials, and maybe you've learned a skill and you've made some money off of it, you know, feel free to to donate. And you don't have to donate. By all means, I want to keep these videos free. But uh, I am doing this on my my spare time, so donations out absolutely don't hurt Level Up Tuts in any way. Um, in fact, they'll just allow us to keep on producing more and more. Also. Uh, 
the other developer, Ben, who you may have heard from the Expression Engine, and the uh, he had done like two WordPress tutorials before. Uh, he ended up getting swamped with work, so uh, he hasn't been able to produce any videos for a little bit. But I just got word that he's going to be back in action, and there's going to be more Expression Engine videos and more WordPress videos in the very near future. So as always, uh, with Level Up Tuts, thanks for watching.